G'day folks, Parkira here and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we are heading into Oregon. We are back on the Beaver State uh, Trail. Now, our delivery is, well, it's right there as you can see. Uh, that's what we're going to go and pick up. We've just, we're in our parking spot from the last episode. So I'm going to go get hooked up and then I'll get back to you. See you soon folks. All right, folks, so we are back. I'm all hooked up. I'm going to jump out the cab and have a look. See, not a bad little shot there. We've got our oversized load there. Beautifully done. So, yeah, we're taking this girl, and I'll tell you where we're heading off to, and we'll just jump into the map and have a look. So we are here just, we're going to, uh, on, and boys, where we left off, we didn't go through Ontario here. Now, I'm hoping in real life there's a little town, I think it's around this area here, uh, called Moscow in Idaho. It's really famous for the food truck. <laughs> food truckers, go and check them out on Twitch. Anyway, we are heading north along here, well, in the 84, uh, northwest, I should say. And our target here is Pendleton, just outside here at the Middle West. So that's quite cool. We're gonna, gonna have a look through there and that'll be knocking off a city uh, towards the Oregon Achievement, Beaver State. There is a repair shop here and a truck dealership as well, so I'll probably look at, uh, I'm not going to detour through there, I'll look at probably knocking that off uh, separately. So that is the route today, it is a 4 hour 40 minute ETA with 255 miles uh, to cover, so quite an adventure. So we're pretty good, I did have a look, we've got about 4 hours or so before we need sleep, um, so we should be okay, um, and I'll just have a look once we get going and try and plot a course there. We'll just get out of this uh, construction zone here. <clears throat> now, I still have fun with my wheel settings. The force feedback is on today. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just been the default setting is on. I do have issues with uh, the thing at the moment, but uh, it's a little bit more force feeding back than I want. Like The wheel's a bit stiff, but it could be just I'm not used to it. Uh, it's been a wee while, but uh, yeah, I don't like when things like that muck up everything, right? Anyway, we'll get out of here. We do have, uh, this is considered a heavy load, uh, but we are, are pretty confident of what we got here to do. Turn left. Anyway. So we're going to turn right left here. Before we do, I'm just going to have a look, see what our ETA is for sleep, and it is four and a half hours exactly. I'm just going to go and plot a course. So we've plotted a course up here. It's about two hours away. Uh, <clears throat> it'll be going into night time, it'll probably be a bit of a night drive in that section there, but it should be okay, that's definitely going to uh, get us under our sleep requirement by about two hours, so we'll start the yawning process no doubt, <laughs> as they do, uh, but we should be alright to get that sleep done, and then we can continue for the rest of our journey uh, into the next day anyway to make it easier. So we're on the back end skirts here of this, you know, of Boise, which is quite nice. We've got that little lake there. It's going to be a nice little residential area. And there's a lake at the back of that, these buildings as well. Wow, cool. Have a little dock set up or something maybe, huh? Anyway, so we're just going to get here. We're going to get out here onto a little bit of the motorway. <coughs> well, it's not really a motorway. I guess uh, main road here, main junction. No motorway or anything, we'll just have to stop, we'll be right here. Okay folks, so once we are on my way, I will get back to you and we'll see you shortly. Okay folks, so the sun is setting there, as they can see the nice little bit of colour is in the sky. So we are, we're just after 9 o'clock, 10 past 9 here. We're not too far away from uh, Oregon, obviously we're going to be bypassing through Oregon anyway, but yeah, the nice sky is going to be upon us shortly. The sun is definitely going down But this should be a nice little evening drive anyway, but yeah, Lewistown is the next exit. Well, we're not going to Lewistown anyway <clears throat> And we're just continuing along here just trying to get up to some speed here It's taking a little bit longer because we are hauling such a heavy load. I need to bring up this uh, some ish stats there. Yeah, so we, again, we are hauling a wheel loader a Volvo one that's about 77,000 pounds, so she's a, a heavy young thing. <laughs> she's a heavy uh, haul, that's for sure. But we are pretty much on Ontario now, just going through. There's the first yawn as the sun is setting, like I said. So yeah, it is what it is, it's planned ahead. 
we're doing okay though. We do have our rest stop, and like I said, yeah, around about a couple of hours, probably under that now, anyhow. But it's been good. We are, as we say, bypassing uh, Ontario, um, which yeah, you can see on the map there, nicely done. Just going under underneath there to Oregon, I should say. Welcome to Oregon, folks. We are now in Oregon. That was a nice little place to put it on the top of the overpass there. You may have not seen it. I'll try and point that out in the editing process. But yeah, we are now in Oregon, folks. Uh, and what we'll do, we're not too far again, like I said, from our rest stop. So I'll probably pull in there a bit quietly, so so, and then we will pick up the action with me in the morning. Let's just let you enjoy a little bit of the sunset here uh, before I close out. See you soon, folks. Hey folks, we are back. Just had a kip. It's just about 20 past 3 in the morning, so it's still fairly dark, but we'll be on our way shortly. Anyway, we'll just bring up the ETA and see how far we've got left to go. Um, yep, yeah, so we've got about uh, 2 hours 40 minutes, so we should get there just around door, well, 3, 4, 5, yeah, just before 6 o'clock, give or take. Now we are, but we're probably about a quarter tank just over on fuel, but we are going to be okay. I've just had a look at that. We should be fine and dandy. Uh, for fuel so let's get going anyway um, and I'll get some fuel uh, just with this trailer because it is not a simple dimple trailer uh, it's just going into fuel stations and things like that uh, is not as easy as it you know as a normal trailer so we'll try and avoid that a little bit Doug's getting a little bit confused but we are good to go so we are on our way now uh, to our final destination we just come out here there so we are taking this as a run just the wheel loader the Volvo wheel loader here we're taking it to the Pendleton Western Metal Recycling uh, so that's our destination and we are good yep just gonna make sure that we I'm gonna take a lot of this road up here just to skim through and get making sure that we are good to go here making sure uh, we're not gonna collide as he almost does with the truck but uh, making the most of the, the the morning hours with is not well, little to no traffic just a couple of trucks so far which is good we'll get back onto the freeway and we'll be just pretty much cruising uh, for the rest of the journey anyway all right we've got the ambo in front of us yeah this trailer just does tend to uh drag behind a little bit so we have to be a bit more aware of that it's yeah kind of articulated we've got a little section part added to us of course but then it's the uh, joins up to the actual uh, part that is uh, just trying to work out here the traffic it joins up anyway to the part of the trailer that is holding the actual excavator there so get up to 65 eventually and then we'll be on our way so you can just slightly see the light ahead it's kind of just changing a little bit as we hit push towards the uh, four o'clock here in the morning but yeah look folks uh just this is out i'm kind of recording this a uh, week in advance actually uh yes well it's wednesday here in new zealand and uh so just want to just jump on it's the 14th of september we do a little bit of get ahead for a little bit but um i want to thank you again for all your ongoing support especially the uh trucking videos the montana series as well especially and you know the ongoing support as well I uh, hope you guys have had a great weekend and I really hope you've had a good, you know, the good start of your week as well. Or, or depending on when you're watching this as well, I hope you've had a good week. Main thing is I hope everybody is well and happy now. Let me take my highs off, we should be okay here as the sun is slowly coming from somewhere. We should be okay here. And we are up to speed now, so we'll just lock in the cruise control. We should just let the uh, engine do the rest. Hopefully, we build. we got a. I do believe we have a retarder in the uh, engine as well, which kind of helps maintain a little bit of the braking there. Right. So over in ETS, we are doing the uh, destination Hanover. I believe uh, we've done three already. We're possibly doing uh, jumping into do number four 
um, after this, I probably will be. Uh, so that'll be out in a couple of days uh, time uh, for you if you're watching this on Tuesday. Well, bit of a ping there, gotta watch out. Slow down to here, Parks. Now, luckily, I was gonna say there's a way station on the other side, but we haven't got one yet that we need to jump into. I won't be surprised if we do. I do believe there's actually one further up closer uh, to Pendleton on the map. This should always be a good thing because we haven't repaired our truck since last time. I'm bringing up the damage report. So we've got the 5% damage that we, we incurred last time. A lot of the damage was obviously in relation to the trailer. Um, but we, we haven't fixed the cab yet. So we may, I don't know, but we may get pinged in again if we do have to run into another uh, way station. I think it was a $500 uh, dollar fine last time. So yeah, it's all right. It's not too bad. Uh, anyway, we're sitting on the field. Whack a change, Mr. Carr. Thank you. And what's the bet he's going to know? He's going to actually do the overtaking maneuver there. Great. So, a few twists and turns here. They're definitely getting a lot lighter outside anyway, which is always a good thing to see. So what I'm going to attempt to do, we're going to get around this corner. I will I'll jump out and let you enjoy a bit of the scenery. And uh, we will take it from there, folks. So we'll see you there. Uh, I'll jump back to you when we're probably just about into Pendleton. Uh, anyway, so see you soon, folks. And there you have it folks for Beaver State 11 out of 14 Pendleton discovered wonderful so we've made our mark here we just entered uh, Pendleton just drove past the sign there so we have done number 11 out of 14 so that's three to go so not too bad at all nice little drive down there through it's looking pretty good so uh, we're pretty much on target we are going to be uh, in our delivery point very shortly just give you an updated ETA and you can see that the, the ETA for Pendleton, well, our delivery point is about 14 minutes, so we're not far away at all. Fuel is getting low, but we have enough fuel on board anyway, and I will be able to grab some after. So we'll just keep going, cruising along here through for, uh, I think, for a wee while anyway. Our, kind of, our destination is almost to the outskirts on the other side of the city as well. So I think we'll be on the freeway for a little bit longer. Uh, need to just make sure that we are 
I was just going to say, we're going to be on the freeway for a little bit longer. Then Doug goes, <laughs> nah, buddy. Exit right. <sighs> Although, I'm not sure if this is a turn-off. Yeah, it is a turn-off. And with this trailer, we again just got to make sure that uh, we're not doing too badly with it in terms of uh, our turning here. We should be okay. We're going to have a nice tight corner here, so I'm going to kind of hug as much as I can here just to clear. Although I do think we should be alright actually. Yeah, it will be alright as rain. I'm just going to do the stoppage. We are good to go. There's a helicopter there, so we've probably avoided a crash, I think, by conti not continuing straight ahead. Should be alright now, just making sure no, we are good here. Yeah, take up a fair bit of whack of the room here, uh, but we are on track. Yep, there's the helicopter, that just kind of gone outside there. Oh, that's so yeah. There's the helicopter. Let's just be a little bit nosy and see what he's after. Wasn't me, officer, wasn't me. Maybe there is an accident somewhere, but I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how we go. So yeah, not far away, we're under a minute away from our destination. It's not quite appearing on our sat-nav yet, uh, but we are okay. I need to just accelerate a bit, take my foot off the jandal handle here, but we're all good and ready to rock and roll. So whereabouts are you guys in your ATS adventures? I know a few of you who uh, do have this game and do enjoy playing it. Are you still hanging around, chilling and exploring Montana, or have you done and dusted that and started to venture uh, to other places here? We've got a turn right here. Right up here. I was just going to say, it's not in there, is it? But we should be right. Take this nice and wide. I'm just going to hope yeah, there's no traffic coming. Cool. So I can take up some of their lane. It looks like a nice little lumber yard there for us. That's not our destination. Obviously, we are going to the metal recycling plant out here. So that's pretty groovy. I do, I do like the uh, some of the delivery points and just you know the variety that there is now in the game, and of course, like I said, as each ETA, um, ETA DLC comes along, the kind of more and more. It's definitely every uh, scrap metal place. All right, I'm gonna take this very wide. I'm just going to have a look here. Yeah, we're going to hold a bit of traffic up. I'm just going to see where he wants us. Because we're manoeuvring in here. All right, he wants us there, does he? Okay. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get that, guys. We'll just go towards this car. We're probably not going to get in here, which is fine. I will just push the magical button and we'll skip the parking. Uh, you never know your luck, right? You never do know your luck. Let's have a look and see how we're looking out. Um, yeah, close to cl no cigar, close but cl not close enough. So we, we will just leave it as it is. And we'll just uh, get the yard. What's it called? Oh, there's a word. Is it yard? Can't remember. To uh, sort it out anyway for us. There we go. So excellent delivery there. We've got uh, $14,022 in US dollars there. So we've got a high value proficiency rank uh, bonus as well as the proficiency. And a little long distance one there. So nicely done there and of course up there again we've got the achievement the beaver state achievement run coming up uh, number 11 so that's always great to see all right folks so we're back in jack until next time thank you very much for joining me today and some more AT ats adventures we are back in oregon and completing the oregon achievement as i see we've just done the beaver state number 11 out of 14 so i'll catch you next episode as we will uh, aim to knock off one more next week until then, as always, I am Pakira. Take care of yourselves and each other. Kia kaha.